Look back at history, read about the terrible atrocities humankind has committed against one another, en masse, at a macro level, genocides, holocausts, wars, slavery, etc., and at a micro level, rapes, murders, exploitation, violence, etc., etc. Now switch on the news, still to this very day, there is much turmoil and terror in this world that is caused by humanity itself. The issue seems to be that the individuals who were complicit in, or committed, atrocious acts on their fellow man were not aliens from another planet, they were our ancestors. We are the same species as these people who have committed horrible crimes against humanity. They share our bloodlines, they are our cousins, our brothers, our sisters, our fathers, our mothers. If the perpetrators of these terrible crimes sat at a table across from you in a bar, they may seem as unremarkable as the next person, or worse, they may catch your fancy. They are human beings. So given this fact, one can only surmise that the potentiality for such grievous acts, such horror, is always there within humanity, laying dormant, latent. Given the right set of circumstances, the bully, the rapist, the psychopathic businessman, the pedophile, the warmonderer, the narcissistic celebrity, the serial killer, the abuser, the monster, will all come to the fore and cause abject misery for their victims and society. Can we say for sure that terrible acts will not happen again? No! If the Earth suffered some terrible natural calamity, and law and order broke down, with no police, no army, can you imagine the monsters that would act without fear of retribution? Sadly, it is inevitable that this will happen on a grand scale one day, the human civilization will one day go extinct, and it would seem the final days would be a hunting ground for psychopathic rapists and murderers out to get their kick. It truly is a terrifying world.